Hi everybody, today we're going to be discussing the five steps of IVF. I thought it was important because many people are asking me what's IVF, what will I go through, I really need to understand what the whole process is about. So today's video is just for you if that is what you are asking me. Um, this is Dr. Wanjiro Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility, keep watching. So what are the five steps that I undergo when I'm having an IVF cycle? So number one is that you need to understand that before we do an IVF cycle, we need to have examined you, have done our background and have been sure that IVF is for you. Once we know that you're ready and that you are a candidate for IVF, then we move on to the first stage, which is step one, ovulation induction. So what's ovulation induction? Ovulation induction is basically when we try to get your, your, your hormone, hormones up so that instead of naturally producing one or two eggs per month, we want you to gain as many as 20. And some women can actually even get much more. So what we do is that we give you treatments that usually are injections to, for um, between 10 and 12 days that will actually assist you to get more than one egg. We really like to get between anywhere between eight and 15 eggs. That is very satisfactory for an IVF cycle. There are people who will have less eggs and people who will have more, but eight is our optimal number. And that's by way of drugs. So once we've achieved our eight to 15 eggs, we move on to the next step. And step two is egg retrieval which means that we go into a little operation and we're able to collect the eggs because as I told you, in vitro means outside the body. So we have to get the eggs outside the body. So this takes about 20 to 30 minutes on uh, a usual patient. And what we do is we go in through the birth canal with a needle and actually suck the eggs outside of the body, put them in little test tubes. Yes, the test tubes that you used in high school for chemistry something like that, but more sterile. And in the test tube, it is then taken into the IVF lab for the next step. But the second step is egg retrieval. So once we have the eggs, we move on to step three. And step three is in the lab. So what's done in the lab is on the same day that we're having the IVF egg retrieval stage, we ask your husband or your partner to give us sperm. So at that point, the sperm is directly put together with the egg in lab conditions that mimic what happens in our fallopian tube and then we put in a, it a, in an incubator and after about 16 hours to 18 hours we're able to check if fertilization occurs so the actual process of IVF is that we put the egg and the sperm together and allow it in an incubator with the right temperatures the right carbon dioxide um, levels the right temperatures to have fertilization on its own. So that's step three. So once the 16 to 18 hours have elapsed, we come back into the lab, check about fertilization. If fertilization has occurred, most times it does, we allow the process to continue. So the, we'll be checking on the eggs um, every other day. And on day three, we may decide to put your egg back or on day five. And that moves us to the fourth step, which is embryo transfer. So what an embryo is, is the formed product of fertilization. And what we do expect is that the eggs will continue to grow. Sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes they, they stop growing because of different factors or they don't grow into very nice eggs. And that nice is a, a word that we like to say, but it just means that it doesn't look very, that like it will implant. So once, um, we go into the fourth stage, we are able to say, okay, this egg is good and we need to transfer it into your uterus. That's why it's called embryo, which is a form product transfer into the uterus. So that's a very simple procedure. You come in um, either on the third or fifth day of, your, of, of after retrieval. And at that point, we actually take the little embryo, we show you um, the embryo on the screen so you can be happy and see what what uh, we are doing and then we actually put it with a small catheter through the birth canal and we place it right on the uterus and then we pray yeah so that's embryo transfer so once we've put the embryo onto the uterine cavity we leave it there 
and then we move into stage five and stage five is the most grueling for most patients it's the two week wait a lot of women say this is where it was even harder than the whole ivf process it was harder than injection than the injections it was harder than anything but unfortunately we do need to wait two weeks before we can give you a positive pregnancy test hopefully so after the two weeks are gone you will usually come back into the clinic we'll do a pregnancy test and hopefully everything will be okay and will be all smiles sometimes this is not the case because ivf is not a hundred percent but um, we take it in stride. So those were the five steps of an IVF cycle. I hope it was clear to everyone. It's a very simple procedure, but um, with a lot of technicalities going in there. So if um, you have any clarifications, if you have any comments, if you'd like to know more about it, please feel free to inbox me directly. Please feel free to reach out to us on uh, Facebook or on our, our email addresses call. We will um, help you and assist you in whatever way we can. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe. This is Dr. Wanjuron Dagwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. Mm -hmm.